GraveCAD Print is one of the most powerful slicing softwares on the market. It offers us such a wide berth of capabilities and versatility. So that allows us to get the best print quality possible. So we do also have remote monitoring capabilities here on things like the Stratasys F series. We do have a connected camera to view the print as it is going. We also, we can take in things like those native CADs, STLs, all those file types that we've discussed and even 3MF files. So we do get the chance to bring in full color, full texture prints, which will come into play when we talk about PolyJet here in a minute. Now, like I said, you do get the full assembly capability by being able to import native CAD files. So all the different CADs can usually drop their assemblies right into the tray, and then they can be assembled or disassembled depending on how you want them printed. They've recently updated the features in GrabCAD print, which is another reason it remains the most powerful slicer is the updates come constantly on a month to month basis and they're always improving something. They've added anchor walls and stabilizing features, which allow for different tall and thin profile parts to really withstand the printing process. And then there's also a collaborative schedule management tool, which we will take a look at in the quick little demo and allows the user to see all the different printers that they have connected to the network. So without further ado, let's take a look into GrabCAD print for FDM printing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and grab our file and bring it in here. So let's grab our cordless STL and we're just going to drag and drop it right into the window and we'll see that populate. Now you'll see these little arrows here. We can go ahead and either manipulate the part this way and we can, you know, even do things like rotate it or we can simply come down here to our orient tool and we can orient our face to a plane. We're going to grab the top of this and call this the top. Just like that. Super quick and easy. GrabCAD print is one of the most powerful print prep tools on the market. It is free, it's downloadable from the internet, but it allows us a lot of customizability that a lot of the other programs do not. So starting over here on the right, we have this toolbar, allows us to change the units if we wanted them to be different than the units that we modeled in. We can change things like the material that this will be made out of. We can do things like changing the slice height from five thousandths all the way to thirteen thousandths. We have control over our support type based on what our model material is. We get the capability of changing our infill style using less or more material as we see fit as we try to balance material usage and strength. We get the capability to change our support so we can change the way that the, the printer lays down the support with respect to the model if we want to use more or less material. Again, balancing between stability and cost savings. Next, we have something called stabilizers, which if we had a tall geometry with sort of a thin uh, surface area to the tray and we were worried about it tipping over, we could use something like a stabilizer to help us keep that print from toppling over. Anchor columns, again, this is something that we can utilize uh, to generate these little structures, either cylindricals or cones, and we can use those to help keep a flat part uh, anchored to that tray. We have auto arrange tools where we can move multiple parts around a tray very quickly and easily. I've already showed you the orient tool. And lastly, we have the ability to scale so we can change the size of the model. About a 20% reduction in volume is about a 50% reduction in material usage. So it is something very efficient to use when prototyping if size is not something that really matters during that process. It would be best to use a smaller prototype to save money. That is about it as far as the uh, tools go to manipulate the tray and the model themselves. However, one more feature that makes GrabCAD print exceptional at what it does is it gives us the ability to go over to our scheduling tool and see the calendar for all of the printers that are connected to the network. So we get visibility in, in all of our different print labs, wherever we have a printer connected, all the way from Richmond, Virginia to Rocky Hill, Connecticut, so we do have a lot of options here. Uh, we can see things like material consumption, uh, start and stop times. So this is one of the, again, one of those features that makes uh, GrabCAD print the, one of the most powerful print prep tools in the software. And then we can go ahead and click estimate once we're done, once it's the way we want it to print. It will estimate and then we can go ahead and see what we've got. Now that the estimation is complete, 
we can see that this will take about three hours to print a little less than three cubic inches of model material and a little more than one and a half inch cubic inches of support material. So just this snapshot alone gives us a good idea of how much this model might cost uh, should we have the cubic inch total of the material that we chose. And now that we've completed the estimation, all that's left to do now is click print. All right, so that was our GriveCAD print for FDM. And now it also gives us the ability to interface with our PolyJet printers. Now the PolyJet printers from Stratasys are full color capable as well as Pantone validated. There are over 500,000 colors capable on the printer themselves. They allow us to do things like full color and texture CMF modeling. Um, so for really hyper realistic looking parts, we can even hit layer resolutions as low as 14 microns. So the even the finest details resolve when printing. And we are able to print things known as digital materials. So we can take two different materials with different Shore A values and we can blend them together to get a range of Shore A values all the way from Shore A 30 all, all the way up to a Shore A about 98 or 100. So I want to show you guys a, what some of the things that are capable in GrabCAD print as far as PolyJet goes, these are the types of models we can expect to uh, create where you can see on the upper left, we've got this blue carbon fiber texture uh, exporting right out of SolidWorks. And we're able, we export this as a 3MF model and we bring it right into GrabCAD print and we're able to print it just like this. There's no added workflow involved. We simply just export from our CAD file and drop it straight into the tray and it prints full color. We are also able to, as you can see on the right hand side, where we have this skin tone Pantone wheel, where we can select all the different Pantone validated colors as far as skin tone goes. So we can create multiple colors on multiple bodies in one single part. And then lastly, in the bottom, you can see the some of the hyper realism capable with some of the new PolyJet materials available on the PolyJet line. Here's a quick video. I want to show some of the hyper-realistic details that you can see inside of GrabCAD print when using PolyJet. You can see how crisp that text is. Those are some of those are translucent bodies, so we would be able to see through them printing in full color and clear on the same build out. And you can see here, you can quickly and easily change the color of a model. Uh, here we have this lavender color that with a little bit of transparency to it. And you can see with a couple of clicks, we change it to red and we can lower that transparency to make it a see-through part using some clear. We have a lot of material capabilities and offerings on these printers, allowing us a lot of full range. And then a lot of the similar tools that we had in the FDM side, including scaling. So we could change parts right inside of the model without changing the CAD information. <laughs>